Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is actually pretty interesting because I finally stopped being lazy and I got a screen mirroring program for my phone. But that's not the focus of today's video. So this is my Razer Phone 2 that you see on screen. Some of you guys are going to freak out because you see Cartown. Uh, there's a video coming about Cartown. But the game I wanted to show off today is one I just found on the Play Store. It's called Street Drag 2. It's a really cool game thus far. I wanted to make sure my desktop audio wasn't recording. And I think it'll be a fantastic Racing Rivals uh, replacement. I'm going to full screen this, and it should be fine. Oh, I forgot the audio on my phone was on. My bad. Anyway. Uh, it's a little laggy over this app, but that's okay. So as you can see, I have Buick GNX, gorgeous freaking car. It's one of my favorite cars on the planet. Uh, this game is freaking awesome. Like, I, I can't even lie. These graphics are fantastic. Uh, I wish the screen recording was a little bit better quality. Actually, I wonder real quick. Give me one second. A, that's better than doing desktop recording. Sweet. So I do have it hooked up so it'll record straight off my phone. This opens up a world of possibilities for my YouTube channel being able to do this because I actually want to speed run some uh, games that are Android based, but that's for another time. So as you can see, I have, you know, $69 million because since the game's in early access at the moment, admittedly, you can hack the money um just using game guardian now since it is in early access i'm not going to say exactly how i'm not going to give a tutorial because i do want to you know see this game progress it looks awesome so let's go over some of the cars here first real quick we'll start from the beginning so you start out with this car this is a car you're given for free it's a bad ass car um, there is some custom stuff I've done to it, but the body kit and stuff like that isn't custom, just the wing and stuff is. Then there's the Spirit S2, uh, definitely an awesome Lotus, obviously. There's the G35, one of my favorite cars in existence, the G35. I love this car. Actually, I realized I can do this. Uh, Honda Civic Type R, obviously. I haven't built this one up or bought it in the game yet, but I am planning on it. The Buick GNX, again, awesome car. There's the Rocket Bunny uh, GT86. Mercedes. I haven't looked at every single car yet. So a Bentley, that's pretty sweet. Uh, Aston Martin, right? Or is this a Jaguar? I always mix, I sometimes mix up Jaguars and Aston Martins like an idiot. I think it's a Jaguar, obviously, or honestly. Uh, awesome R8. This is sweet. This video is not doing this game's graphics justice. I promise you, go to the Play Store and download this game, Street Drag 2. These graphics are fantastic on my phone. Full, fluid, 120 FPS on my phone. It's amazing. Woo! Oh wow, they even have animations in the background. That's really cool. I didn't even notice that before. Uh, them loading cars and shit. GT500X. Mustang, obviously. Oh, that looks like Dom Toretto's Charger. Oh, that's sweet. Heavy Camaro. <laughs> the Bimmer. <laughs> Dodge Viper. Awesome. The Nassin. <laughs> The Nassin VR38. That's kind of clever. Okay, I see what you did there. The Ak the Ar the Aruka NSX <laughs> Lamborghini. Instead of having the ING in the middle, it's just Revton instead of Revington. I think is Revington is what it is. That's nice. This is one of my favorite cars in existence. Love this car. Ferrari. McLaren, the new Ford GT. God, that paint job is gorgeous. You should see it on my phone screen. Bugatti Veyron and a Koenigsegg, and that's the final car. So I'm going to take 
this car out because it is maxed out basically built entirely uh this is the fast quarter mile i've had on this thing so far i do need to refill my nos i can't because i don't have enough gold coins yet oops that's okay yeah i have a lot of money that's okay there is multiplayer on this game too supposedly at least according to the play store i haven't tried to access it yet uh, but there is multiplayer, which is awesome. So we're going to do this. Oh, did I not pick a tier one car? It used to be tier one, and then I modified the shit out of it. You know, I was trying to stop swearing in my YouTube videos, and I kind of just forgot. Oh, crap, I forgot to hit main car. That's one thing I really don't like. If I'm on that screen and I hit next for, like, next car, or if I hit, like race just auto choose that car honestly go with this we'll get five grand out of this which is the only thing i really don't like and this is going to sound very stupid is the gas pedal is on the left you do have to launch it yourself as far as hitting the uh launch button you do have to hit it yourself I just noticed how badly I lost. The lines up at the top weren't accurate. I just noticed. Because it had me out in front with the lines. Oh well. That's fine. Oh wow. You can see a lot of data too for your race. I actually didn't know about this yet. So you can actually see like the dyno RPM graph. This is sweet. This is going to be a fantastic racing rivals replacement. If multiplayer is in this game. The, I'm going to no life the crap out of this as long as like they aren't annoying with the boost. Let's see. Cars actually do sound really good in this game as well. I know you guys can't hear it at the moment. You'll just have to take my word for it because, well, one, audio doesn't transfer over the USB to the computer via um, the method that I'm using to record my gameplay. Um, so I'm going to have to figure that out later. At least I don't think it does. Hold on. Let's just unmute. Yeah, there's no audio transfer from my phone, but that's okay. I, uh, I do have... Not have a headphone jack on this phone. Ah, crap. I don't know how I'd record audio if I actually decided to continue this game as, like, a series. You'd just have to listen to me talk instead. Uh, it does not work on Android emulators. I tried it already on Memu. Um, Blue Stacks, as much as I hate it, I do have it installed, so I could, so I can at least test stuff out on here. Um, I have Memu, Blue Stacks. I tried it on, and one other emulator called Droid 4X or something like that. Droid Droid 4Z, and that emulator, the version of Android that's on it, is just too old. But let's look into more of this game. You need to see this for this on my phone. They have some graphic issues uh, with this area. Like uh, the floor, you'll see it spawn in, which is a little annoying. But you can see so much data while you're driving here. It's ridiculous. And then there's all the stuff about your car, like what current HP you're at uh, for like when you rev, for example. I'm at 176 horsepower right there. So basically you can like dyno it here, which is cool. Uh, all your information about cubic inch and displacement, all that's here. Your, uh, all your ratio information if you need it. Air resistance. Like there is so much data here. It is so cool. Uh, let's go. Let me go and show you guys what it's like to uh, tune a car that's maxed out. Because the car they start you off with, you can do whatever you want with it. This is, yeah, this is the only car that's completely customizable in the game at the moment. But I'm sure they're going to add more into the game as far as what's customizable. So let me show you guys what's so special about this specifically. So when you come into parts, um, every other car in the game right now is... Uh, 
set up in such a way that it's kind of the same as every other game where you just buy different tiers of parts and stuff like that. This one, however, shows what their actual idea for this game is. You can control the cubic inch. I know. You can control the cubic inch, how many cylinders, the compression, um, even go back to default. You can... At the moment, I can't because I haven't beat tier 5, but you can raise your rev limit. You can control your starting torque, which modifies your torque curve and your maximum torque. Uh, control where your max torque RPM is. There is so much you can do. It's ridiculous. Control your gear ratios right here, which is really sweet. You can't do your final drive until you beat level 1, but that's okay. And like you can just go around the car and look at it uh the different weight editing and like drag coefficient ride height stuff for the tires on how you want it to be set up weight height rim size and then of course your amount of torque from your boost and how big of a bottle you want to have on your car it is downright insane actually there's a good example look at the loading screen real quick that's kind of similar to what the actual graphics for this game are and on a razor phone 2 it's running fluid 120 fps um, because that's what this phone is capable of at a snapdragon 845 which means if you have a galaxy s20 galaxy s10 galaxy s9 you can play this game at full graphics it's so nice there are other things you can do with this um you can do like Oh, these are my, that's my actual car. Okay. You can do graphic wraps to just the hood. You can do the whole car if you want to on whatever you want to do. There's all different things you can do. It's so sweet. You can do the sides of the cars, the different wraps. You can change the paint color. Uh, you can do custom color, which is sweet. That's something I really like. Because I have a favorite color that's about like this. I think that's one of my favorite colors ever. I don't know why that's still there, but I do want to apply the paint. And then there's different custom wheels. The custom wheels are sweet. So many different wheels. There is a lot of possibility for this game to be absolutely fantastic and explode, I think, on the Play Store. And I can't wait for it. As long as they can fix very basic hacks, it's going to be a game to be reckoned with on the Play Store. This brings a lot to the table. I love it. There's even different spoilers and stuff. There's so many cool things in this game. It's absolutely ridiculous. Leave. I don't have any gold coins. Um... I would like to figure out how multiplayer works, but I think I have to work my way through the game a little bit before I can even join a multiplayer lobby. So I think that's why at the moment I can't show off multiplayer or get to it because I just don't have it unlocked yet. But hopefully in the future I will. So that's Street Drag 2 for Android. I'm not sure if it's on iOS. Their website says it is, so... Let me know in the comments down below if you have an iPhone or an iPad, if it is on the uh, Apple App Store. Well, let all of us know, really. It's a fantastic game. The graphics are amazing. I bet you if you have like an even an iPhone 8, it's not going to run this game very well. The graphics are just crazy intense. I love it. Um, I'm going to be playing this game a lot. Obviously, my username in the game is TechX. I don't know if there's like the ability to add friends and stuff like this in the game but if there is you know i'll let people know and oh my god the amount of stats you can see is ridiculous yes there's loot boxes unfortunately um your settings and stuff like that but I really do think this game is going to be something awesome. Oh, let's go over the in-app purchases real quick. So there are monthly subscriptions, which, you know, whatever. That's just a thing we're going to have to deal with. Uh, unlimited free maintenance. 
uh, 50% off some items, exclusive content, exclusive content, limited maintenance, nitro, and boosts, free tuning, which I guess tuning doesn't really matter if you have $69 million. Uh, this is a special starting offer that I don't need. Realistically, their in-app purchase prices aren't terrible. If you guys remember Racing Rivals, it was $100 per mil by CIE. So 3 mil for 80 bucks, I guess, isn't bad. If it wasn't possible to just hack your money super easily. Um, and then obviously there's the gold. And this is other stuff that you need for different kinds of tuning. So... Honestly, if you guys want to see more of this game, um, I did already try to mod it with uh, IL to CPP Dumper. Good luck. You need to know a thing or two about modding to be able to mod this game, and it would probably have to be done by IL to CPP menu uh, or some kind of memory hook because every single thing in uh, the DLL is a void. There's no bools, no ints, no. Uh, floats, no doubles, singles, strings, everything is a void. So, good luck with that. Um, but in all honesty, just Game Guardian it. If you're really that hard pressed and want to get money in the game, just use Game Guardian. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This game is awesome. I'm going to be playing it a ton. And if you guys want to see me basically talk more about games i find either on steam on the android play store or elsewhere uh and do i don't know if i can call them review videos i guess that is kind of what this is let me know uh i'll look into it and maybe do more of them so i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed peace out